for those of us who had a C in science, we present Science in the Sea. Uh, this is our new 6,000 meter, uh, 50 horsepower, uh, deep sea science ROV um, that we built from scratch. It's technology that makes scientists giggle. We are nerds and we love this stuff. Researchers, technologists, and aquabots assemble. Those self-appointed nerds from Ocean Networks Canada are headed out aboard the Canpac Valor in hopes of scratching the surface of what lies and lurks beneath. ROV stands for Remotely Operated Vehicle, and this is the latest and greatest aquabot to patrol the Earth's nether regions. The world of underwater exploration is a sea of acronyms. And here's the POV of the ROV capable of reaching depths of 6,000 meters. They'll only get down to 2,600 meters on the ROV's maiden voyage to do maintenance work on the Neptune Observatory, which is an 800 kilometer loop off the west coast of Vancouver Island. We'd be doing some really heavy lifts where we're swapping out what we call a junction box. So this is one of the main hubs of power and communication uh, that we use under sea. It's a complicated first mission, illuminating some of the darkest places on Earth. Some ROVs have great cameras and lights. Others are capable of heavy lifting and extraction. This guy does it all. These are not arms or pincers. They are spatially correspondent manipulators. And this unit features 360 degree grabability. Really expands our workspace when we're down on the seafloor and sitting down in one spot. Connected by an umbilical cord to the ship. If something goes wrong, very wrong, and the cord breaks, science fiction will not ensue. The umbilical cord comes off, it can't uh, come to the surface and attack us in some way. No, It's the ultimate tool for education and ocean preservation for the deepest of dives.